Welcome to the Solar Glide Double Pulley Installation Guide for Cassetted Roller Blinds. The tools required for this installation will consist of a pair of scissors, an electric drill, a tape measure, a crosshead screwdriver, a pencil, an Allen key, and finally, a spirit level. Solar Glide have supplied two brackets within your installation face fix brackets and top fix brackets. Depending on the width of your blind, a sufficient number of brackets have been provided. Choose face fix brackets when installing into the bulkhead wall above the window and top fix brackets when installing into the ceiling or roof of a window box. Please make sure all brackets are evenly spaced and level. Using one of the brackets as a template, place in the desired position above the window and mark the holes. If mounting into wood, secure the brackets into position with a screwdriver. SolarGlide suggests you use two screws per bracket. If mounting into metal or cladding, the use of an electric power drill may be required. Once all brackets are fully secured, the blind can be carefully clipped into place. Ensure the film or fabric is retracted inside the cassette before centering the cassette. Carefully clip the cassette firmly into the brackets, ensuring the cassette is evenly placed on the window. Firstly, secure the front of the cassette into the lip of the brackets, followed by securing the rear of the cassette until a firm click can be heard. The brackets have levers to the rear if repositioning is needed. Larger blinds may require additional brackets to be placed at the central sections of the window for extra stability. To install the double pulley system components, carefully pull the blind down the window and hold firmly into position. Using a pencil, mark directly below the bottom rail fixed pulleys, then safely retract the screen back into the cassette. The first component to be installed is the anchor point. This can be fitted on the right or left hand side, depending on your preference. Secure the bottom section of the anchor point into the window sill with a screwdriver. A power drill may be needed when mounting into metal or cladding. Thread the top half of the anchor point into the end of the cord as shown. Make sure to tie a secure knot at the end and remove any access cord with scissors. Hand screw the top half of the anchor point onto the secured bottom half and creating a full sphere. Once the anchor is secured, feed the cord up and over the first pulley, which is located within the bottom bar of the blind. A flat screwdriver can be used to help feed this through. Proceed to feed the cord through to the second pulley, leaving the cord hanging. The second component to be installed is the external pulley. On the opposite side of the blind, to the anchor point, position the external pulley directly below the adjacent fixed bottom rail pulley, as shown. Screw the external pulley into position using the screwdriver. The small screws are needed to secure the external pulley firmly. A power drill may be needed when mounting into metal or cladding. The third component to install is the black plastic cord clamp. The fully open end of the clamp should be positioned furthest away from the external pulley. Screw the cord clamp into position using the screwdriver. Two screws are needed to firmly secure the clamp into place. A power drill may be needed when mounting into metal or cladding. Feed the loose cord through the external pulley and through the cord clamp as shown. Ensure the blind is fully retracted back inside the cassette. With the blind material retracted into the cassette, add the plastic acorn and tie a double knot at the base of the cord. Cut away any excess cord with a pair of scissors. Always ensure there is sufficient cord length before cutting the cord to avoid making it too short. The last component to be installed is the cord cleat. This is used to tie off the excess cord when the screen is in operation. Pick an appropriate location for the cord cleat, mark the fixing holes and then screw into place. A power drill may be needed when mounting into metal or cladding. The tie-off cleat can be installed into the wall or onto the window sill, or where there is appropriate space. 
all components should now be successfully installed. Pull the operating cord acorn to slowly retract the solar film down the window. Retract the screen up and down the window several times to check functionality. Once you are satisfied that the operations are correct, retract the film or fabric down the window so it covers the glass surface. Lock the screen into position using the cord clamp, tying excess cord using the child safety cord cleat. The double pulley system allows the blind to be set at any level on the window, whilst providing adequate support during rough weather conditions. If you require additional assistance, please contact the team at solarglide.com. Thank you. Welcome to the SolarGlide Type A, Brass Base Fittings Cable Guide Installation. The tools you will need to complete this installation project. An Allen key. A pair of wire cutters. An electric drill. A tape measure. A crosshead screwdriver. A pair of pliers and a pencil. The cable guide wires come pre-attached to the blind cassette. Carefully unravel them. Feed the cable guide wires through the bottom rail P-clips, located on the back of the bottom rail profile and leave them to hang loose. Slowly lower the screen to the bottom of the window. Use the P-clips as guides, and with a pencil, mark the position for both cable guide bases onto the windowsill below. Carefully retract the solar screen back up the window. Fix both brass base fittings into place using a screwdriver. A power drill may be needed if drilling into metal or cladding. Each metal base has a small hole that is located within the center, through to the side of the brass fitting. Feed the wire through this hole once the base fitting is secured. Using a pair of pliers, pull the wire tight and use an Allen key to tighten the grub screw as shown. Once secured into position, ensure the wire is tight. Please take care not to over tighten, as it may snap. Once tightened, snip the excess wire, leaving at least 10 mm spare. Push the excess wire into the second hole for a professional finish. Repeat the process for the second cable guide on the opposite side. If you require additional assistance, please contact the team at solarglide.com. Thank you. Welcome to the SolarGlide Type B, Metal Base Fittings Cable Guide Installation. The tools you will need to complete this installation project. A pair of wire cutters. An electric drill. A tape measure. A crosshead screwdriver. A pair of pliers and a pencil. The cable guide wires come pre-attached to the blind cassette. Carefully unravel them. Feed the cable guide wires through the bottom rail P-clips, located on the back of the bottom rail profile and leave them to hang loose. Slowly lower the screen to the bottom of the window. Use the P-clips as guides, and with a pencil, mark the position for both cable guide bases onto the windowsill below. With a pencil, mark the positions for both Type B metal anchors. The P-clips, located on the bar, should be used as guides. Carefully retract the solar screen and thread the cable guide wire through the anchor holes, as shown. Place the screw over the threaded cable and twist clockwise to secure. With the pliers, pull the cable tight, while securing the metal base with the screwdriver. Please be aware not to overextend the cable wire. A power drill may be needed when securing into metal or cladding. Once the cable guide base is secure, snip the excess wires, leaving at least 20 mm spare. If you require additional assistance, please contact the team at solarglide.com. Thank you.